I feel like they're forced to grow up so quickly. There's so much pressure to look a certain way, have your hair styled or your makeup a certain way. Like who wears these clothes better, who gets better grades on the test. So they start thinking that these, t these terrible things, that they're not good enough. Kids will come up to me and be like, hi, you want to play? And I'll be kind of shy. Like I was the quiet one out of the group because I thought that our feelings were something we kept inside. I can tell her as much as I want that she's perfect the way she is and she's just as good as anybody else, but to hear that resonated from your teachers and your peers, I thought that would be really important. And they need the tools in their tool belt to go into the world and deal with those things that happen around them. I wish I had some of these tools when I was going through middle school and high school. We see their confidence grow in the 12 weeks or during the season. I was eight or nine when I first heard about Girls on the Run. I heard about Girls on the Run in third grade when I started it. I never really liked running that much. At first I knew like none of the girls. They might be a little scared. They don't know what the program's all about. Some of them just think we're going to be running the whole time. Sometimes these girls don't know each other and all of a sudden we're a team. Lessons that you want to teach young girls, they're not superficial situations. They're learning them through play. They're able to talk about friendship and they're running and having fun at the same time. This is their safe place. This is their place where they can talk about anything and everything. They come in with issues of bullying at school, outside of school, gossiping, feelings that are hurt, issues with friendships, issues of body image. And then be a, a, a peer, a compañera. There's a word in Spanish that's, you know, has a, a meaning that's, you know, we are partners and we're, you know, here to support one another and encourage one another and not compete Allows with one another. To make certain choices, to be respectful. Watching a girl become somebody different than who she was when she walked into the door, whether it be more confidence or being able to express themselves in a way that they couldn't before, knowing that they're empowered in a way to go back to their classrooms and go back to their communities and be inspiring and be confident. I don't, I'm almost at a loss for words, the power of the program and seeing girls change and transform that way. The coaches were a safe haven for us. They, they helped us through all of our problems and if we had something, then we would go to them and we would tell them and they'd help us work it out sort of put it in a way that I could understand. They're really asked to dig deep some days. Things that come from deep in their hearts and, and their belief system. Those lessons are oftentimes the ones that, you know, I think about before going to bed. I have so motivated and so inspired by what I've learned from them. It's like little life lessons every single day. Okay, ready, steady, go! My coach says that words are like toothpaste. Once they're out, you can't put them back in the tube. And it was true that you can't take gossip back. And it's the worst thing, especially when it's not true. That helped me and my sister. We would always fight. We would sometimes say mean things about each other. It's just helped us with our sisterhood. If I get like a vanilla ice cream, she'll get chocolate. <laughs> We're complete opposites, and we kind of try to get on each other's nerves. When we talked about dealing with our emotions, I think it helped us get closer and try not to fight. So it's very inspiring that these girls can come up with these amazing answers, and they're third graders, fourth graders, fifth graders. It's truly amazing, and you're like, ooh. That's brilliant. I feel angry when you don't listen to others. Well, there was this um, lessons I feel when you because, and I would like for you to. Okay.
Okay, go, Maggie. I feel hurt when you call me names because it puts me down. I would like you to please. Good. Telling somebody, you've hurt my feelings, I don't like that, and use their I feel statements. I feel hurt when you talk to me that way. I don't like it when you, I would like it if you did this. It's just a way of them being able to communicate their feelings um, without them being afraid. And she was able to bring home the lessons that she was learning. Now we have a lot of uh, conversations based on word phrase. It brings a change of happiness to our family, that we can spend time together and use it wisely. Find the beauty in yourself that you were just born with. My daughter was learning at age eight what I was learning at 38. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> oh my God, where, you know, where was this when I was growing up? Seeing her grow into her own little person was like, it was amazing. But she, she loves it and it, it does make us feel really good to see her developing and feeling like she can do, you know, whatever it is she sets her mind to. So, and I think she is ready. She's, she's gonna be ready when she gets to middle school, so. They really believe that they can change something in the world starting with themselves. I am a girl on the run, and every time I coach a lesson, I'm reminded that I am those girls, and they are me, and we are one when we get together. And she's feeling like, you know, I could do this too, and that's, that's something that we are learning as a family. I went from hating running to loving it, so. I realized that it wasn't about your speed or how fast you were, and it was about the strength to finish. I've never missed a race. This upcoming one in spring will be my 12th. At the 5K event, it's a ball of emotions. There's a sea of other girls, about 3,000, 4,000 girls from all different schools. 5,000 people are cheering them on. I would see people come out from their houses and watch us run, and that made me feel really good. It made me feel like I'm, I'm special. The amount of parents who train to run their very first 5K with their own child is amazing to me. I went with her, and Karen with waiting for us in the finish line. To see them cross the finish line hand in hand with their daughter, the emotion just wells out of both of them. I ran in with my mom, and it was really great because when I caught up in the sign, I was proud of myself. It was amazing. I was so happy. The beginning of the race where they make the tiaras, and I pick up her tiara, and when I looked at it, it said, I rock as me. And I thought, that's incredible. You, you just got the whole, you get it. That's the kind of memories you'll hold forever, making those little glittery tiaras. I think the skills that I learned in Girls on the Run will help me throughout my whole life because it changed the way I saw myself. Beauty's not only on the outside, it's always on the inside too. Crossing that finish line, changes your life. It's not the end, it's the beginning.